was, was Pythagoras right? Is 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 um, is reality fundamentally mathematical? Um, and is physical space some sort of? I think you use the word ingress, in, in, ingression of of those forms. But um, but then I mean again that implies some sort of desire on the part of those forms to ingress or manifest in some way. Um, so do we have do we have any thoughts on that? Well, let's let's unpack this uh, for, mm. for, from from the, from the beginning. So. Mm. <clears throat> It's it's very clear to everybody, and it has been for a long time. Uh, although now we have some some even more amazing examples of it. That sometimes when you make very simple things, you get more out than you put in. So so whether or not uh, it's it's um, it's a machine, so quote unquote, or if it's a biological, or or even even you know some some even very simple mathematical constructions, you often uh, find out that you've done certain things, and then new things show up, new, new patterns show up. So there's kind of two ways to deal with it. Uh, one, which is the most popular, is it goes basically goes under the name of emergence. And so mm -hmm. when you do something simple and you get a complex outcome, of, in fact, a very specific complex outcome, people say, well, that's, that's emergent. And, and it arises because of the complex interactions of the parts, and then you get this surprising thing. So that that concept of emergence leans on a couple of things. First, first it leans on the notion of surprise. It's emergent because we didn't see it coming, right? And if, and things that are emergent to me, somebody who's much smarter looks saying, well, "That's not emergent. That's perfectly obvious. Of, of course, of course, that's a consequence of you know of of of, of what was going to happen. That's obvious." So so even figuring out what is emergent and what isn't, you know, is the is the is the validity of a mathematical proof emergent? You know, once you see, you know, somebody gives you an amazing result and you say, "Wow, that is crazy. I did not see." And then you go, you then you you follow the proof that step by step, and you go, "Oh." Yeah. Okay. Well, it couldn't have been any other way. Of course. Now I see it. Well, is it still emergent? Uh, you know, these things, the emergence, right? On the one hand, it's kind of a measure of, of surprise of the observer. Yeah. One, and yeah. and two, and two. The other thing about it is that it has this really strong flavor of um, what you might uncharitably call stamp collecting. In other words, just like we're we're, we're kind of assembling a big catalog of cool surprises. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and, called and it the big book of surprises, didn't you? In one of your talks, I thought that was, he, he, that was fantastic. Yeah, and yeah, and, and you know, and and I mean, so many many people much smarter than me work on emergent phenomena in in, in physics and so on. I'm not I'm not you know um, downplaying any of that. I'm just yeah. I'm just saying that you have two choices when when I ask people, hey, so how come how come this is the thing is? Well, that's just a fact that holds in our world. That's just mm -hmm. a, that's just an emergent fact. Okay, we can build up a catalog of those. And and the presumption, I guess, is that it's sort of random. It's a random yeah. collection of surprises. Yeah. I can't prove that there's anything wrong with that, but metaphysically, I don't like it. It seems like a very mm. hysteria and very defeatist position.